Where we left off in season one, uh, the task force was dealing with the hit of finding out that uh, the Wheatley family might not be as easy to take down as we had hoped. And uh, going into season two, we're still sort of dealing with the fallout of that, the trial. It's all still very much happening even three months after the end of season one. And we also have an all new uh, crime family that we are trying to apprehend. Sergeant Brewster uh, has already very much made himself at home. Uh, he has stolen my desk and I've been demoted now into the corner, which is great. Uh, but he has sort of come in blustering and um, really trying to take control of the task force and it's it's um, an interesting dynamic to see Bell and Brewster kind of butt heads as well as the other members of the task force um, and watching all of us try to figure out how to cohabitate in this space and also how to figure out how to do any effective work as a task force while not liking each other very much at all. I would definitely agree that this season is a little bit more gritty, a little darker, a lot different, I think, than not only last season, but a lot of what we've seen from the Law & Order universe at all in the past. I think what keeps people coming back to shows like SVU is that there is such a buildup over time of the characters' lives and their hopes and dreams and we become so close to them and we're really watching them in very often I think really tragic moments in their lives or really tragic moments in other people's lives and I think that sets up really nicely a way to root for a character. I'm thinking specifically with with Benson, you know, people feel so close to her and people really see her as this comfort character because she does so much of that comforting and she is such an advocate um, in the show. And I think that's really what keeps pulling people back in is that, that we have these rich characters um, who we love and root for and want the best for. And I don't think that it hurts to have them in scenarios that I think are generally pretty widely appealing, like true crime and this aspect of, you know, taking uh, stories from the headlines and taking current events and um, working those into the themes of the show really, um, I think, keeps people interested in a very topical way.